Hey, what is up guys, Rashad back at Invoke Pro. Guys, I want to give you a quick update on how the project split decision battery removal is going. So I'm over here back at XS Garage and I was going over with Brian a few details about what our plan is for the Chevy Volt battery. And right now we have a few of the components torn out so I can give you just a quick overview of what we're working with and what we kind of plan to do. So here as you see it outside the vehicle is the DC to DC converter. Uh, this is essentially what takes the battery pack voltage and reduces it to 12 volts to power all of your accessories in the car. Um, and going down here is your high voltage AC unit, uh, runs completely off the battery, uh, fully electric there. And also you have your high voltage heater, uh, which essentially is going to be in charge of, you know, heating and, and cooling different items within the car. And over here is the actual 3.3 kilowatt charger. Uh, we're going to try to implement this charger in the build. But as of right now, we're thinking about potentially doubling the pack. We're going to actually get a second pack. We're going to tear this pack open and then uh, double the, the pack's capacity, essentially, to power this awesome, awesome project split decision over here. So when it's coming along quite well, uh, we got Brian has the motor mounted in the uh, in the chassis now. So we're just planning out our overall approach on how we're going to take the battery or mount the battery inside the chassis. Thinking about going with a T configuration. And with that T configuration, we're just going to mount the batteries along the axis of the chassis. And as you can see also, the motor, Brian has the motor nestled in very nicely there. Uh, he has a, something exciting that he's going to share with you guys pretty soon on that motor. But yeah, it's coming along quite well. That's a Tesla rear drive unit. And he's working on welding the mounts now. Look at those awesome 20 inch wheels. Awesome 20 inch wheels. Project's coming right along. Just a quick overview. And he'll be sharing all of this content on his channel, XS Garage. Check him out on YouTube. I'm going to link all of his stuff in the description. And then back to the battery pack, guys. So uh, I'm going to show you a quick clip here where I'm going to be start tearing this pack down. And we're going to make sure that our cells continue to have voltage. That is the main thing that we want to accomplish here. We want voltage. Even though when we measured at the terminals here, we didn't get anything. But we have a strong feeling that the BMS, the internal BMS, battery management system, uh, deactivates all power to the cells and hopefully preserves. I believe it's at a 10% threshold is when the BMS kick in. And we're hoping that that saved our cells. So we're going to find out that pretty soon. It's going to be really exciting. I'm going to bring you guys along. But uh, here, yeah, guys, we're back at the exit. XS Garage. Uh, we got a plan of attack. Uh, just to show you what we're doing is looks like there's a, a bunch of bolts that go around the perimeter of the battery. Uh, all of them are 10 millimeter that we're going to loosen and then this entire uh, cover here is going to come off to expose those batteries. So that's kind of the plan of attack guys. I'm going to take you through the full process. I'm going to have some good time lapse. Time lapse footage just showing you how we're going to rip this Chevy Volt battery down and get ready to install into Project Split Decision. Alrighty guys, so we're at the final result here. We have the battery stripped down to a cellular level and this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, just a follow up, looks like we did have voltage to all of the uh, separate pack and parts of the pack. So everything so far so good is going according to plan. Uh, the next step here, we have the uh, charger and we're gonna see if we can wire a can, can feed to it so we can see if we get some output voltage. Uh, so guys, just stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated on the latest build. Invoke Pro out.